100K. A sports car is a small, usually two-seater, two-door automobile designed for spirited performance and nimble handling. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the first known use of the term was in 1928. Sports cars may be spartan or luxurious, but high maneuverability and minimum weight are requisite. These top 10 lists rank and explain the best sports cars you can buy for 100k. Let the countdown begin. Number 10. Jaguar XKR The Jaguar XKR is the second most powerful car on this list with over 500 raging horses under the hood, it looks fantastic and has a supercharger. So why is it so far down on this list? Wait. Despite having twice the engine displacement and 150 extra horsepower, the XKR is 16 seconds behind the TTRs, the next slowest car on the list, around a Nürburgring. Number 9. Audi TTRs. The Audi TTRs is coming to the United States in limited quantities, and it's only available with a proper manual transmission. This sportier version of the TT has plenty of grip, with its wide tires and Audi's Quattro AWD system. Add the 360 horsepower produced by the five turbocharged cylinders to these factors, and the acceleration from this car is absolutely brutal. Number 8. BMW Z4 S Drive 35 IS. This is the first of two BMWs the best version of the Z4. Gone is the convertible and coupe option all Z4 S from this generation have retractable hardtops. Despite the up power from the 3.0 Li6, the Z4 isn't a purest driver's car by any stretch of the imagination. The car has softer handling than some of its competitors, which makes it more of a weekend cruiser than a hardcore sports car. Number 7. Porsche Cayman R. In stark contrast to the Jaguar, we have the Porsche Cayman R. Porsche is synonymous with motorsports race track performance, and that is exactly what the Cayman R is built for. When building the R version of its popular Cayman sports car, Porsche decided to cut weight instead of adding lots of power to achieve the desired performance goals. Number 6. Lotus Evora S. Lotus has been building purist sports cars for a long time. Expanding upon their model lineup of the Elise and Exige, Lotus added the Evora as a slightly larger and more powerful sports car. Although it is bigger than the tiny Elise, the Evora has retained everything that has put Lotus on top of the wish lists of drivers worldwide. Number 5. C63 AMG Coupe. As with all AMG vehicles, the key to the Mercedes C63 AMG Coupe's performance is its heart the 6.2L AMG V8. While this AMG will still happily kick its rear end out if you lift off the throttle coming around a bend at the limit, it isn't quite as insane as previous C63 AMGs due to chassis refinements that have somewhat neutralized the balance of the car, according to car and driver. Number 4. Chevrolet Corvette Z06. In the fourth spot, we find the only American representative on this list, the Corvette Z06. The Corvette has long been the best value in horsepower per dollar on the market, and the C6Z06 is no exception. The only cars with more power on this list cost over $20,000 more for only 5 to 40 more horsepower. Number 3. BMW M3. The BMW M3 was engineered for the track, and you'll notice this from the start in the streetcar. From the V8 that revs to 8,400 RPM to the cross-drilled brake discs, this car is very serious about performance. The M3 looks fast even while standing still all of the bodywork is aerodynamically functional or feeds air into the engine compartment. Number 2. Nissan GTR. The R35 Nissan GTR hits 60 miles per hour from a standstill in 2.9 seconds. This is faster than hardcore racers like the Gumpert Apollo Sport 
roughly $400,000, and high-speed legends such as the Koenig Seg Agera, over $1 million, with a top speed of 270 miles per hour. Engage launch control, and any driver can pull off this unbelievable 0 to 60. And number 1. Porsche 911 Carrera S. This latest iteration of Porsche's classic sports car has more power and less weight than the 997 generation, with updated styling and a brand new manual transmission. The 911, known internally as the 991, generation keeps with the Porsche tradition of placing the flat 6 at the rear of the car, but Porsche has improved upon the balance of the last generation by redistributing a bit more of the weight from the rear. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe.